What is that sound? Very unsettling. Welcome back to No Man's Sky. We are just leaving the station in this green system. I've already visited this planet. We got the emerald we needed and made an indium drive, so... We could just leave right now and go to a blue system. But I want to explore this system. So, first of all, this planet... Oh. Oh. I had no idea it looked like that. So, uh, this is not a planet. This is a moon. So we're going to take a look at... Let's see. A moon here, a planet here, a moon right there. And down behind us is another planet. So, let's take a look at this airless moon. So I don't think I'll spend much time at each of these locations. No, hold on, hold on. Let's actually go straight down into it. The Yandis Gamma. And it looks like this one is pockmarked with cr impact craters. Very interesting. Oh, and it is brown down here. So what kind of landscape do we have? It's... It's actually not so... It's a little flat-ish. Nothing really special. Hold on. May as well land here. Grab that. Take a look out here. So, no sentinels. Airless, how's the, uh... Oh, yeah, the gravity's low. Definitely low. Okay. Let's grab this, because this is important stuff. And it looks like... It's gonna be, uh... We're gonna be... In an eclipse soon. Yeah. So this is a very brown world. But nothing really special. No odd looking... Hold on. I can't scan that. But may as well scan some of these. See the primary element. Ferrite dust. Oxygen. And we just have a ton of these rocks everywhere. Yeah. Nothing really special here. Hold on. It just looks like particles fa uh, falling down from the sky. Alright. So as I go along, I am, of course, gathering a bunch of materials. Oh, and there it goes. Eclipse. What, 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 wait a minute. That was odd. Huh. Okay, I don't think we're really going to be seeing much of anything. What is going on? These strange shadows. As if there were clouds, but there aren't. Oh. Kind of eerie. Let's see, there's a cave right down here. Do we have... Ooh. Look at that. There's a plant. Huh. Anything else? No more plants. <laughs> Did I just scan, like, the only plant on this planet? Or moon, I should say. All right. There's really not much to do here. We're going to lift off and go to our next planet. And that next planet is right behind this moon. Looks like it has oceans. Alright, so let's take a look right there. Look at that world. 
Blue oceans and gray lands. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm too close. That's not what I meant. I did not mean to go into the atmosphere. On an airless planet. Or moon, I should say. So first of all, this planet was the stellar corruption detected planet. Oh, we got some magnetized ferrite, too. Let's take a look at what this is. I think I visited a stellar corruption planet before. I don't exactly recall what it was like. This will be interesting. Okay, it looks like the water is less than I thought. As we get closer, we see more detail. So it looks like we've got this inland sea. We're going to be coming down close to it. And... Hold on, hold on. Oh, this is, it's one of these worlds. Just grayscale. The color is just sapped from our vision. And whoa! What are these giant spikes? It's red. Okay, let's let's land right around here. Let's see. No sentinels. Infinite toxic mist. Ha. Huh. There we go. So I've got a few. Uh... Oh, come on. There we go. Flying animals. Oh. Multiple species. Wow, three, three, three flying species of animals. That is interesting. Now these things, what are these? We got another flying species. Incredible. Do I have any land animals? That's the question. I don't see anything. Let's let the scanner try to detect any, and nope, I don't see anything. But we got free words here. Let's see what we can learn. Cannot. Just look at that. I'm curious if there are any land animals on this world. Even my green ship is gray. Interesting. Let's take a look. So this world here... Four of nine. Discovered. Huh. So there are land animals. I don't want to spend much time here, but the... Just eerie landscape. This is very strange. Hold on. Alright, so we got some uh, food plants around here. I'm not terribly concerned about that at the moment, but ah, the sun is going down. So what's it like at night? Do we get color back? And what is that? Ah, dihydrogen. Okay. It's just absolutely. This one's red. Paralyzing spores. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be near that. 
it's it's just absolutely gray not exactly the most picturesque planet to be on to be honest anyways let's see uh, do we have any really really nearby five units away I can do that how's my inventory space doing so I'm at 15 ah oh, I've got space there okay let's go grab this and I think we're gonna head off to the next uh, the moon of this planet can't even see where that plant is Weird. These kinds of planets are a little, um, uncomfortable to be on. To be honest. I don't like the lack of color. Yeah, I think, I think I've had enough of this planet. It's really not the most interesting looking. And I can't imagine living here. Depressing. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get our color back. I really want the color back. Oh, there we go. So much better. Let's just uh, go out this way a little bit. Actually, the moon looked like it was really shiny. Now, if I can see where it was. No, that's not right. That's going back to the other ones. That's the last one I'm visiting right there. Okay, so we should have a moon. Oh, it's right over... Right over to go around a bit. I think I've gone around sufficiently enough. Oh yes, there it is. Oh jeez. <laughs> Let's just pay attention to the asteroids. Let's get a full view of this. So this moon Looks shiny. Looks cold. Ah. Too much atmospheric interference. Yeah, I'm not getting any reading. There we are. So what do we have here? And another airless moon. This one is shiny. It has high sentinel activity. I'm not sure about that. A lot of airless planets. Look at this one. Let's go down and check out what this looks like. Why would it have such a high albedo? Ice? Like quite possibly this is an icy airless moon. solar system. We got little plants here. Jubaldin 11. And remember this this moon, ooh, anti-gravity? Oh, it's definitely light. Okay. We have high sentinel activity on this moon, right? So, it's regular patrols. There it is. That's what I wanted. Grab that. Now this one is a lot more interesting than the first moon that I visited. That's for sure. This one has 
like variety in its terrain. Look at that. That is also floating. Massive floating rocks. Very interesting. And it is cold. Minus 17 degrees. Well, the toxicity is surprisingly high. For a... I don't know. Not, I don't want hazard protection. I want this. Alright. So this is an interesting world. We've got rusted metal. Emerald. There is whispering egg. No, that's not what I want. Got sodium deposit, emerald deposit. Another sodium deposit. This isn't bad for gathering resources. There's a lot of sodium on this on this moon. Hold on. That's really close by. Oh, this is so easy to get around, too. That's crazy. Okay. Shiny. Sticking out of the ground like that. Whoops. It's a very small one, too. There we go. Let's make that a little bit smaller. Again, gathering resources when I can is a good idea. I know I may miss some things, but sometimes I am just really interested in taking a look at the world and seeing what it's like. Well, there's a whispering egg right there. <laughs> it's crazy. All right. Ah, there's a sentinel right there, and I think we're out of here. There isn't really too much to see, to be honest. So, I think what we need to do is try to remember exactly which direction we have to go. Okay. It's back in that direction, isn't it? Okay. Let's go off in this direction. And go around this planet. Oh! Okay, so there it is. That world right there. Petrified planet. Mipenker Gamma. Now what is this petrified planet? That is a good question. It's got rings. It's a bit beige in color. Emerald, gold, and sodium. To me it just, it seems like it's quite possibly another lifeless planet. That is quite possible. Alright. Do a little bit of this. There we go. 625. I've got four anomaly detectors. Hmm. Interesting. To try one out, but uh, not right now. So I've got um, 19 salvage data. That's not bad. Did I just... Oh, I'm crashing through asteroids and collecting some uh, tritium, huh? Yeah, this planet looks pretty lifeless. However, it is mountainous. That's interesting. That's hard to tell. Going into the atmosphere here. It's a desert planet. No, it's not. Whoa. 
Okay, it's one of these. Look at this. Okay. Let's head over to this impact crater. Now let's land here. We won't hit any of these. Okay, after all of those other worlds, uh, this actually has some uh, color. Oh, and we've got moving animals. This is rolling around. They are cannibals. Nice. Predatory? So are these? These are not registering. Absolutely not registering. Memories of Frost. Between worlds from elsewhere. Absent sentinels. These are minerals, pure ferrite and oxygen, feldsparts, metamorphic. How? Metamorphic rock created like that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We've got these unusual jets of magenta outgassing from the ground? Interesting. sound. Very unsettling. Look at that. That is a very unsettling sound. It's coming from this. What in the world is that? Hold on. Let's take a look here. This is so unusual. Wow. Whoa. Oh, that is so weird looking at it close up. And there are mountain peaks. Very interesting. So, no. do we have any decorations? I don't like the sounds of that, really. So sodium, yes. I know there's emerald as well. Now the question is, uh, hexaberry? No. Whoa. I'm just curious. Let me just, um... Get my bolt caster. I want to see if these do anything as I approach them. Not really. Ignoring me. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? Oh, gee. That one is unusual. Totally different than the others. Oh, the sounds here are just so, so unsettling. No, that's not what I want. I want to scan you. Also, white star. That's what I wanted. Let's pick that up. Wow. Wait. I haven't even scanned that one. Again, pure ferrite and carbon? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I do not like the sounds of these things. Okay, then. there's another one right there. And another one. So unusual. Look at these things. Okay. 
because we've got other structures around here that I have not seen before. Definitely need pictures. Oh, and the rings. Yeah. Hold on. Let me move the sun over here. Just so I can get... Yeah, that's better. That's interesting. <laughs> I want that. It looks like we've got several of these around here. These ones are like... Oh, it's not dead. Hold on. This one's like trapped within one. Very odd. Okay. Well. Disturbing world or not. It is interesting. And I think the important thing that I do right now is there is one other thing I need to get. And that is oops, 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 oops. I need to get the space anomaly in here. I realize I didn't do that in the previous system, the red system that I went to. Could have done that, honestly. And that would have made it a lot easier for me to leave. I could have just uh, take, taken the teleporter. Okay. Oh, and it's nighttime suddenly. Okay, so the space station is. Oh! Hold on, hold on. We have frigates for hire. Okay, okay, okay. Don't. Don't fly into them. Let's see. What have we got here? Oh, slow down, slow down. Hey, Hugh, the Traveler, do you wish us to join your fleet? My vessel and those who currently inhabit it are yours to command. Let's see, what kind of ship do you have? Supply vessel. Another supply vessel. Um, looking at my notes, I currently have two support vessels. I mean, I could take another one, but... Hmm. Wow. Fuel requirements are really low. I may as well. And... It's a freighter. What kind of frigate are you? I would prefer to have something other than a support vessel right now. Another supply vessel. Ah, oh, this one would have been better. Ah, uh, 12 million. Okay. <laughs> oh, shut up. So where is this other one? Really? Let's get out of here. Because quite honestly, I don't want to deal with them within a fleet. Oh. Several fleets around here, too. Okay, are you ready? Whoa. Ah, there we go. Jeez. So 
like we've got several ships that are joining in this fight. Okay, there we go. Yes, yes. Got it. Let's go. You have no shield yourself. Alright, what do we got next? You? Looks like we've got... Yeah, we've got a few ships around here. Fighting them. Is that the last one? Looks like it. Alright. I did not see what any of the other uh, frigates were. I wanted to check. Thanks. Okay, that looks like yet another supply vessel, I'm guessing. And this one right here was... yeah. Okay, right now I'm not really looking... I'm not looking for a supply vessel. I've got three right now. I'd like some others. Anyways, let's call in the Anomaly. Because I have some business there right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see if I can get some nanites. Oh! This is, um, full of asteroids. All right. <laughs> so we are going to spend some of the salvage data, that's for sure. interesting ships around here. Look at that hauler. Uh, not a lot of interesting ships, really. Okay. Ooh. I like that fighter. Yeah, that's a neat fighter. Okay, so let's go talk to you. You got any nanites for me? It's been a while since I've been here. Hello Helios, long time no see. Let's see. Planet data. How many nanites he got for me? 300, not bad. Okay, and Ares. How's it going? So what can I give to you today? Exchange materials. Transmit milestone data. How many nanites he got for me? 550, not bad. Alright. I don't suppose... Let's make sure I'm on the right one here. I am in the anomaly one, so yeah, okay. Okay, so we've got some more stuff to research here. And cuboid rooms would be useful. So like this. Sure thing. We've got 16 left. This means we can have interior stairs. Cuboid inner walls. And a cuboid roof cap. Although, infrastructure ladder. Interesting. Keyboard inner door. Let's do the roof, too. Got ten left. Uh, keyboard room flooring. And frame. Uh, let, me, let me just look at some other stuff here. Got eight left. Small landing pad. 
teleport cable. Short range tell you yeah, know I do want that. Ten. Requires ten. Oh, this requires zero. Interesting. Okay. Can't do anything with that. Water tight door. This is underwater stuff. Not really interested in that yet. And step ladder spark plug. Lighting. I could do with some lighting, I guess. Seven left. I got colored lighting, too. You know, I think I'm gonna skip that for now. Got wall switches. Not 100% interested in that. We do have Nip Nip, but I'll probably get that with uh, our farmer. Alright. Some wooden stuff. Timber ramp. We got a few things here. Thin timber wall. Sure. Extruded wall. Doorway. Two to go. And... I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to choose. We have a powered door. Timber powered door. How about that? Eventually, I'd like to start uh, building with those. We've got nanites. Exosuit upgrade. This is what we need. Let's get that. It's 150,000. We got money for that. And we have 1,545 nanites. Nice. Do want to check. We have any new recipes that we can check out here. So, not quite yet. Warp hypercore. High capacity antimatter based fuel. So, one antimatter, one storm crystal. That might be useful. Valuable products. I am going to have to learn a lot of these still in the future. Okay, components and devices. How about the warp hypercore? Let's take that for now. Uh, let's see. You know what? Do you have anything, you know, for speed? Exocraft upgrades. Minotaur? Not really. High-powered sonar. Oh, uh, no, no, no. I was just thinking of uh, the freighter. No, I need to get... I need to be able to research the freighter, and I can't do that from here. So, this... It's not a lawn. Oh, and I'm going to need these to put into my Exocraft. Absolutely. I need these. Because I'm not protected inside the, the Exocraft. Oh, come on. I have to go through this? <laughs> yeah. I have to talk to you every single time, don't I? I do. Oh, thank you. You know, you got great teeth. <laughs> ah, yes. One more. There we go. We got 815 left. So, acceleration. Icarus fuel system. Solar recharge unit. Oh. Automatic engine recharging. Sure? What's this? Reduces fuel burn. Uh, Deadless. Okay, this is just for... For that. Okay, let's do that. And... Yeah. How about you? Hyperion, how's it going? 
Got some decent upgrades I could check out. Got 695 left. So, sublight amplifier, pulse engine augmentation. Let's see, large rocket. Hmm. Launch system recharger. Refuels launch thrusters automatically. Now that would be useful. Let's do it. Okay, so... These wouldn't be in our inventory. Launch thruster module. Yes. Pulse engine module. Yes. Because uh, I purchased those before. Those are modules. It's not actual recipes for the uh, technology. Okay, and I don't think I have anything to say to you two. Um, you're just not going to say anything to me. At least nothing useful. Yeah. I don't think I'll get anything from them. That's for sure. Alright, so we are... I think we're done here. At least for today. So I'd like to thank you for joining me on this great adventure. And check out the playlist on the right in case you missed any previous parts. Consider subscribing if you like what you see. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.